We're trying to figure out what the least amount of material required to build a box like this that has no top and a square bottom. Um, we're also given that the volume must equal 32. Um, we should try to set up a Lagrange equation for this, uh, as this would be our constraint. And, uh, and uh, we want to try to figure out the surface area. So this is kind of like the function. Um, well, let's figure out this equation for volume first. Because we know it's a square base, so that means that these lengths will be the same. X, X. And if, and we'll put that as Y. Um, which means that base times height times the width is the volume. Which means that X squared Y is 32. And that's going to be for the volume over here. So that's our constraint. Um, we're going to want to represent this thing with like a lambda 2 later. Uh, then we're going to find the function, which is going to be like the surface area function. So that's going to be just the area of this side, which is x squared, plus 1, 2, 3, 4 faces of xy. And um, cool. So now we want to set up the Lagrange. And... Uh, We'll have the x and y and the uh, lambda. That's going to be equal to x squared plus 4xy minus lambda times uh, sorry, x squared y minus 32. And that's going to be equal to 0. Once we take our derivative in terms of x, we'll have 2x uh, plus 4y minus um, 2 lambda x y equals 0. This is going to be for y then. And we'll have 4x minus uh, lambda x squared equals 0. Then we can solve for this one. So we'll say that 4x equals lambda x squared. And we'll see that uh, lambda is just equal to 4 over x. So that's pretty cool. Then we can go back to this equation and say that um, uh, 2x plus 4y minus uh, 2 times 4 over x times xy equals 0. Um, which means that we'll just try to solve y in terms of x, and then um, this will go away. So we'll have plus 4 minus 8y will give us minus 4y. Um, and then there's going to be a 2x on this side, minus 4y. That's supposed to be equal to 0. That means these two are just equal to each other. And uh, in that case, we'll divide this by 4. And then we'll get y equals x over 2. Okay. Now, we can plug that stuff back into this equation. So we'll say that... Because um, y equals x over 2. So x squared times x over 2 equals 32. Multiply 2 over there and we'll get x to the third equals 64. So x is supposed to be equal to uh, 4. And uh, when we plug that back into there, we'll get 16y equals 32. So y equals 2. And um, if we want to try to solve for the surface area now, we'll just plug that into there. So the surface area of the box is going to be uh, 16 uh, plus 4 times 2 times 4, which is going to be 32 plus 16, which is 48.